Hi, I'm Melissa Lang. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be advancing on the abdominals we learnt last week with reverse abs and we're going to be taking our legs up into a 90-90 position and doing leg extension, so single leg and oblique. This is a follow-on from reverse abs. If you haven't seen reverse abs, go back and view that one before doing this one. This is for students and clients who have good pelvic stability and a good awareness of neutral spine. We're going to be challenging pelvic st stability by adding lever systems, which will be your legs. What this means is that much like a seesaw, if we add the head or the weight to one side of the seesaw, which will be our legs, our pelvis is going to want to move into an anterior tilt. And our job will be to keep it into neutral. The way we do that is that we, we acknowledge the deeper muscles within our body. So our iliopsoas, which runs from T12 and down through the lumbar spine and then inserts into the leg. You're going to need to directionally pull that muscle back to your spine, much the same way as if you were a kid on a seesaw, you would be able to balance and lower one end and the other. So you want to keep that balance by drawing your psoas back to its origin. Okay, so we're going to lie down. We've already discussed in reverse abs how to get into a, a nice thoracic curl up from ten, T12 and T10. Okay, the rest of the spine is lengthening out this way. Our shoulder blades are pulled down. We then take our legs up into a chair position. Now, if you're new to this, bring the knees in closer. The further out we go, the more challenge it is. And as you can see, my psoas is now making my back arch. That, stop, that is not what we want. What we want is for the psoas to pull back and anchor itself. So energetically, we're feeling the pull of the muscles back to T10, which is where your bra strap is. So we're going to take a breath in. Then we're going to connect with our pelvic floor to anchor our pelvis. We're going to work the transverse to stabilize our pelvis to our, uh, to our rib cage. So all of this is now solid. And now as this leg sends itself away, we're lengthening out through our back line and we're drawing up our front line, our deep front line, and then inhale to return. So in order of sequencing, we need to have our breath there first, so breath in. Connect with your pelvic floor. Feel these muscles engage and then send the leg away. What we don't want to see is the pelvis moving or the back arching. We want to feel that these are very stable and that this is just a challenge. Obviously, as you get stronger, you can lower the leg further down. You could incorporate two legs. And later, to increase the understanding of how the obliques work, we can increase the the strength of working our obliques by twisting from one side to the other, which we discussed in hip rolls. So essentially, any time that we add legs to the equation, we're changing our base of support and we're challenging our ability to work these muscles harder.